So you, when you use a dumbbell through here, you can use a kettlebell too, but a dumbbell is fine. And you want to have a weight that's pretty substantial because you need to fight it to stabilize it. So what we're going to be teaching here is to stabilize your shoulder blade. <clears throat> it's one of my all-time favorite ones to teach people because most people don't have enough stabilization or to be able to control movement with their shoulder blade. It's so you're kind of getting what you've got. So what you're going to do is, you know, the side that you have a stability problem with, <clears throat> you're going to lie down on your side, okay? Then you're going to actually rotate and roll your body forward. Almost like you're kind of like sleeping in bed a little bit. So you see how I'm rotated here and then I'm forward, okay? This hand, you can support your head if you want to, okay? <clears throat> now you can get this up on your own or you can have a partner give it to you. What you're going to do is take the dumbbell, okay? You're going to press it straight up. So you want to lock a straight line from your arm down into your shoulder, okay? And then what you're going to do is, from this position, you're going to sink your shoulder blade or pack your shoulder blade so it sinks down. So you're trying to bring your shoulder blade straight in toward your spine, okay? So think about it instead of reaching up to the ceiling, you're letting the dumbbell just sink to the floor. And you have to really hold this because it's not going to go like that. So you have to use a little bit of core at the same time. And then you can support your head if need be. And all I want you to do is just hold that, squeezing your shoulder blade back into your spine. And you'll hold that for 30 seconds and maintain your breathing. And it's going to get tiring. It's going to get fatigued. So this is a 25-pound weight. Normally, I like for people to start with about 15 and work their way up as you go. So if you want to come around here, you can see the back of my shoulder blade, how it's just sinking down and I'm rotating it forward. Okay? Now, a progression that you can do you're not going to do yet is where you actually maintain this as you roll your pelvis back and forth. So then you're rotating your lower body and your core, then you have to maintain the line of drive or that pendulum. Okay. So that's all I want you to do is just maintain this, hold it for 30 seconds and breathe. Okay? After 30 seconds, you drop and you relax for about 30 seconds and then you repeat. Think you can do that? I think I can do that. Good.